Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani working here as Function Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about rapid implementation. So let's start. What is rapid implementation? Basically, rapid implementation is a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet can be downloaded from an Oracle Fusion application. When we use spreadsheet, when we have limited data to configure an application, then we can do it simply from entering it directly into our application. But when we have bulk or list of data to configure an application, we use spreadsheet. With the help of spreadsheet, we quickly enter the list of data and upload it in an application. This is a time saving process. Also, it make our work easier. Use of rapid implementation. You can use the rapid implementation for general ledger workbook template to rapidly implement these common setups objects for enterprise structures. So you can create these setups using rapid implementation sheet, chart of accounts, including value sets, value set values, structures, and structure instances, account hierarchies, represented in the application through trees and tree versions, accounting calendars, monthly type only, legal entities, primary ledgers with legal entity assignments to primary balancing segment values, business units, rules of generating sequential IDs for transactions recorded in the application, select setup objects along with the accounting specifications for various financial applications. Completion of the rapid implementation enterprise structure setup also automatically generates sample financial reports and account groups based on your enterprise structure. Steps of rapid implementation. Download the rapid implementation sheet for general ledger workbook. Entering the data into the sheet. Verifying the entered data and resolving any errors. If there are errors, you can resolve it. Uploading the chart of accounts file, uploading the general ledger, legal entity, and business unit file with the rest of the configuration. Now we will see practically how to perform rapid implementation task in Oracle Fusion application. So go to setup and maintenance. Go to task list. Click on search option. Search rapid implementation here. Click on define common financial configuration for rapid implementation. Click on create chart of accounts, ledger, legal entities, and business units and spreadsheet. By clicking on this option, we will get the rapid implementation sheet. The rapid implementation sheet has been downloaded. Click on open file. So this is the rapid implementation sheet. We have to enable it for editing from here. Click on enable editing. These are the instructions that has been provided by Oracle. Go to chart of accounts, calendar and ledger sheet. From here, you can give the name of our ledger, currency, period, frequency, adjusting periods, fiscal year, start date. Here you can give the segments, segments label, short from display width. With step number one, you can validate it. With step number two, you can generate chart of accounts file. With step number three, you can generate ledger, legal entity and business unit file. From this option, you can add segment to the sheets. Go to second sheet, business units. Here you can give the names of the business units and all and the legal entity assigned to it. Companies and natural accounts are two mandatory segments. This is the company and legal entity sheet. This is the natural account sheet. 
and the last sheet is for financial sequences that contains payable invoices payments receivables invoices receivables credit memos receivables adjustment activities sub ledger journals general ledger journals go to instruction sheet here oracle provided us the sample data sheet this is the sample sheet provided by oracle we will use the same sheet for understanding purpose and also for submission purpose here you can give the name of the ledger i'm editing the same sheet currency we will take it as usd period frequency is monthly adjusting period is once at year end start year i have taken as 1st january 2021 the segments are company line of business account cost center product intercompany there are two mandatory segments that is company and accounts and we have to assign it with label primary balancing segment to company and natural accounting segment to account if you want to add segment to this sheet then write the name of the segment say department click on add segment sheets here you can see the department sheet has been generated but we don't require now delete it this is how you can add the segments to the sheets go to business units here you can give the business units name and the legal entities assigned to it now go to the companies and legal entities sheet here you can see the hierarchy total infusion companies is the parent under that infusion usa comes under that infusion usa corporate office under infusion usa corporate office there are two segments that is infusion usa corporation and infusion usa headquarters the legal entity assigned to these segments are ifu infusion usa limited with this identifier code you can uniquely identify this legal entity the country is united states this is the address of legal entity this is the registration of that legal entity and this is the reporting unit registration number we will edit it now move to next sheet that is national accounts here you can see all the possible accounts that an enterprise can have there are five mandatory accounts type that is assets liability owner equity revenue and expenses move to next sheet line of business 
so these are the line of business move to next sheet that is cost center this is used basically for reporting now move to next sheet that is product these are the products of the new life corporation this is the intercompany sheet these are all the intercompanies of this corporation now move to next sheet that is financial sequences so this is a financial sequences sheet that contains payable invoices payments receivable invoices receivables credit memos receivables adjustment activities sub ledger journals general ledger journals now move to first sheet here so the step one is to validate this sheet click on validate option so now there is no error validation is successful and no error is found do you want to preview the sample reports click on yes so this is how reports look like move on to the same sheet again now the step number 2 is generate chart of accounts file click on generate chart of accounts file this is a zip file click on save step number 3 is to generate ledger legal entity and business unit file click on it click on save now move to our application from here we can upload that file i click on upload chart of accounts click on choose file now click on this file chart of accounts click on open click on submit click on okay it will directly navigate us to the process submission page here we can check the status of process so our process in running status click on done now upload our second sheet so for that click on upload ledger legal entities business units click on choose file select financial com common entities click on open then click on submit click on okay it will again navigate us to the same page click on done now we will see whether our chart of accounts has been loaded or not click on done click on setup and maintenance go to task list click on manage implementation project 
click on our project search manage chart of accounts click on manage chart of account structure instance go to task option click on manage structure instances search it click on edit from here you can see that our chart of account segment have been loaded segment code is company and value set code is company new life ledger this is how we can upload our rapid implementation sheet I hope you understand thank you so much for watching the video